Brain hemorrhage is a type of brain stroke caused by rupture of a brain artery. Brain stroke is a devastating disease affecting any age, sex or ethnicity. It's seen in babies in the womb, newborn babies, children, teenagers and adults. Birth defects causing brain hemorrhage is one of the commonest cause for stroke. Cavernous malformation is one such birth defect affecting the people at any age. What is a cavernous malformation? What are its symptoms? How to diagnose and treat? Stay till the end, I'll be giving some tips and tricks as to what to do if a child has a brain stroke. Let's have a look into this video. This is Dr. Arun Naik from DocLog's channel. Dialogue with your doctor is called a DocLog. In this channel, we have DocLogs on brain and heart health, lifestyle diseases, cancer, spine health, preventive health, and much more to help you take control of your health in your hands. All these are the new diseases of the modern world and are often neglected. Let's fight these diseases together. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to DocLogs. All additional links, tips and tricks told in this video, I will leave the details in the description box below. If you want, you can check those out. That said, let's get into the topic. What is a cavernous malformation? Cavernous malformation or cavernoma is a cluster of abnormal, tiny, thinned out blood vessels called capillaries filled with blood and located inside the brain. It looks like a small blackberry. Sometimes it can happen in the spinal cord also. This is a birth defect or congenital problem. It may happen soon after birth. Size of cavernous malformation may be 2 millimeters to 4 inches. They are also called by different names. Cavernomas, cavernous angiomas, cavernous hemangiomas or intracranial vascular malformations. The exact incidence of cavernous malformation is not well known because they don't have any symptoms in many of the patients. As a neurosurgeon, I see cavernous malformation when a patient comes to me for some other reason like a brain injury after an accident. It is said that about 1 in 200 people have cavernous malformation which is silent in them. Most of them are silent in their lifetime. They don't cause any problems. Although a birth defect, it can come to light anytime during the lifetime. Last week, I saw a 70 year old gentleman with recent onset headache and on an MRI, he was found to have micro hemorrhage due to a ruptured cavernous malformation. So cavernous malformation, although congenital, can present in any age. We see it quite often in adulthood. What are the causes for cavernous malformation? Well, we do not know what causes cerebral cavernous malformations. About 20% of people with cerebral cavernous malformations have the hereditary type passed on from generations. Most often they occur sporadically, that means without any definite reason or distribution. What are the symptoms? As I just told, most people with cavernous malformation may experience no symptoms at all. Cavernous malformation is a thin walled capillary, so it can sometimes rupture and cause minute brain hemorrhage. What are the symptoms of cavernous malformation? As I just told, most people with cavernous malformation may experience no symptoms at all. Cavernous malformation is a thin walled capillary, so it can sometimes rupture and cause minute brain hemorrhages. When repeated hemorrhages happen, iron in the blood is layered on the surrounding brain. This iron is irritant to the brain and can cause seizures or fits. Symptoms depend on the location of the lesion. Some of the symptoms are weakness in arms or legs, vision problems, balancing issues, memory and attention problem, headache, speech problem or difficulty in walking. Rarely in cases of large 
cavernous malformations, the brain hemorrhage may be very big and can cause significant brain damage and even death. When and how to seek medical care? If you experience sudden neurological symptoms such as sudden severe headache, vomitings, seizures, weakness in arms or legs, vision problems, memory and attention problems, seek medical attention immediately. You can have some issues with your brain. Chances of it being a cavernous malformation although is very very less. Now what are the tests and diagnosis? When any patients with sudden onset seizures or headache comes to me, I do a detailed neurological examination to understand the severity of problem. I may order a scan, mostly an MRI scan. MRI scan is the best mode of test to diagnose many conditions including a cavernous malformation. A CT scan may totally miss a cavernous malformation, usually no more tests required in most cases. MRI scans may need to be repeated to analyze a change in the size of a cavernous malformation. Recent bleeding or appearance of new lesion is a red flag. What is the treatment? As I said earlier, most majority of cavernous malformations are silent or incidental and come to light only when we do an MRI for some other reason. In such cases, nothing needs to be done. I keep them in the follow-up and I may do an MRI every two years for six years and then from then onwards every five years. Once I know the growth pattern of the lesion, I stop any further MRIs. In a known case of cavernous malformation, any seizures should be taken seriously and an MRI should be performed sooner. Most patients of cavernous malformations have seizures and I prescribe seizure medications often to be taken lifelong in such cases because as long as the cavernous malformation is there in the brain it can bleed anytime and can cause seizures as long as the seizures are under control nothing needs to be done surgery is an option if seizures cannot be controlled through medication that too if the cavernous malformation is too big or if the cavernous malformation keeps causing brain hemorrhages which can sometimes be fatal. In one of my patients, I was seeing him for almost 15 years and one fine day he was rushed to the hospital emergency room where I work because he had a seizure in his office. An MRI scan showed he had blood in his cavernous malformation causing a massive brain hemorrhage which was life threatening. I did an awake brain surgery to remove his cavernous malformation successfully. You heard it right. We do awake brain surgery in some cases where surgery is done in a fully conscious state. This is done for brain surgery near speech areas or limb areas. During awake surgeries, patient keeps talking to us sometimes singing, sometimes solving sudoku, sometimes painting, sometimes playing a guitar. Can radiotherapy be used for cavernous malformation? No. Friends, cavernous malformations are not radio-responsive lesions, meaning radiation has no effect. Although I sometimes advise radiosurgery for some deep-seated cavernous malformation if they are causing recurrent brain hemorrhages. Effectiveness of radiation, well, is debatable and there is not much studies done in this regard. As I promised, I want to give some tips on what to do if a child or an adult has a brain stroke. Number one, shift the person to a safe place so that he can be saved from injuring himself. It may be on the road, then shift him to a safe roadside location. Number two, keep him to his side, either right or left. Number three, if he has saliva blocking his nose or mouth, try to clear with a napkin or kerchief. But be careful because he can bite your fingers if he is throwing a seizure. Number four, never put water in mouth because this way you may be choking him to death. Water can escape to the windpipe and cause immediate death. 
Number five, never give any metallic object to hold because he may poke his eyes with that. Number six, time is brain. Every minute counts. Act fast, call for help. Arrange a vehicle and shift the child to a nearest stroke ready hospital with around the clock neuro care. With that friends, we have come to the end of the video. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. Share this video with your near and dear ones. Put them also on the positive side of their health. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to Doc Logs. It will be my honor to have you in this ever-growing community of Doc Logs. Hit that bell icon to get instant notifications of my new videos. If you have any neurological ailment and if you need any help in fighting your disease, please leave a message in the comment section below. I will definitely throw some light on your problem. Friends, I'll be back with another equally interesting doc log very soon. Till then, feel awesome, live awesome and take good care of your health.